we will not confirm one way or the other is what they repeatedly say. I mean, it's glaring because this is now 10 kilometers is the road inside Bhutanese territory. 30 kilometers north of this area is a much larger series of settlements. And these are all military settlements because why else would anybody actually try and go there? In fact, um, General Dua, that's my next question. This isn't about China trying to get Bhutanese territory, that, I mean, in, in areas which were previously uninhabited. This is clearly about establishing their physical presence to put pressure on our boundary, their boundary with India. Isn't that what this is all about? Uh, Vishnu, like General Huda, <coughs> I beg your pardon, General Huda clearly brought out in the beginning, they did try uh, in 2017 where uh, Indian Army stopped them. And now they've made a foray much further to the east, southeast. Uh, it's strategic importance, Jamfiri Ridge has already been brought out. But this is a very complex situation because uh, it involves three countries. Uh, Ramacharani just brought out about uh, brought out the relations between the three countries uh, and the dynamic between them at, at the, uh, in the in this context. The fact of the matter also is that we. We have a treaty of, uh, with Bhutan of uh, 2007 where both countries would be, uh, I forget the exact words, appreciative or sensitive to each other's security concerns. Now, with that having been said, uh, Indian military, sensitive as it is, would have plans, have has plans to deal with the situation, uh, deal with the situation as it threatens our security concerns. Right. What those plans are, uh, like you said, like he just now brought out, uh, Bhutan is not uh, willing, or you said, I think Bhutan is not willing to comment. I don't think these plans or what is the what is the intention would ever be made public or would be put in the public domain either by India or by Bhutan. 